Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, my name is Leah. I am the Scrappy Planner on Instagram. Feel free to join me over there if you haven't already for lots of fun planner photos. I am coming to you today with a plan with me. Fingers crossed that this goes well. This will be my first plan with me of 2018. I am using this gorgeous, gorgeous kit from Felicia at Libby & Co. I will link her shop down below. Um, I do have a coupon code available for her. However, it does not work on the mystery kits. So monthly mystery kits, you can't use it on. You can use it on other stuff. Um, typically, if she's having a big sale or participating in a sale, she doesn't stack the coupon on top of that. So it's disabled during those times. But you can use it. Um, the rest of the time and she has fantastic prices so what a great deal I pulled out some washi I don't know how much of this I will or won't use um, but these are just some fun washies that I thought might coordinate well with this kit um, so we'll see how much of those we use um, as we get into the planning here uh, but this is the gorgeous um, kind of like little red riding hood woodsy type themed kit um, I do buy her mystery kit size to fit the happy planner I am using um, the 2018 happy planner this was one of the limited editions this is um, one of the happy planner girl line I still have the uh, stuff on the cover so I can show it to you. I need to pull this off. I just haven't done this yet, but this was Glam Girl. I believe that this one is sold out. Um, it does have the metal rings and rose gold accents, um, but that's what I'm using this year. I snagged it at Hobby Lobby, I think, when they were first, first released, and so happy that I did. Um, this is the first week of 2018 that I did. This is my first layout. This is how it turned out. Um, so I just wanted to flip over and let y'all see that one really quick. I do pull pages out of my planner. That's one thing that I love about the Happy Planner when I'm planning. I don't write um, typically in the book itself. I like to pull my pages out and write on them that way. So I will put my planner off to the side um, so that we can use just the pages that we're planning on today. Um, I also have a composition notebook here. I do a couple of things with this. Um, number one, I like to have this as kind of a, just a cushion to bear down on when I write on the pages. Um, and also if I wanna do any pen test or practice like a font or something, I usually um, use this notebook for that. So, um, whoops. The pins open as you can see um, so you might see me kind of doodle or write on that periodically um, and then also this is one of the uh, 2018 May Design folios from Target I picked this up a while back I do have um, a video a um, shop with me and haul from Target um, on my channel as well if I can figure out how, I will link that up above so you can go over and check out that video and what those displays look like. Um, but I do have the 2018 insert in here. This is a horizontal uh, week on one page insert. And I use this, that's next week, for pre-planning. Um, so I just kind of write down um, some notes of things that are going on that I don't want to forget. Um, so I do reference this when I... Um, plan each week so I thought I would pull that out and just show y'all what that looks like so I'll put that off to the side so that I can reference it as we go um, so hopefully that's out of frame and won't bother you too much as we plan all right so now we will um, jump right into the planning so the first thing that I like to do is lay down the washi on the top and bottom so the top washi is date covers on this one and then um, this is the bottom washi that will go across here. So let's just lay those down really quick. Okay. 
Now that that's done, um, we have our washi um, on the bottom, and I went ahead and trimmed both sides so that it was just even with the planner pages. Um, so now let's add our dates. So Monday is the 8th. We'll just go ahead and put all of those in really quick. Now we are actually done with this sheet. I don't use um, these sidebar stickers in my planner. Um, and then this is a flight tracker and I'm not flying anywhere this week, so I don't need that either. I'm just going to toss that one over to the side. All right. And then um, let me think about this really quick. Next, I think, I think I'm going to add some washi. Next, I am going to add half boxes across the top of the page um, Monday through Friday. I do track what I wear to work every day. I know that's probably a little bit different and unique. Um, I don't know really of anyone else that uses their planner for that, but it is a tremendous help for me so that I don't wear the same outfits over and over and over again. Um, and I can kind of rotate my wardrobe appropriately, if you will. Um, so I usually just use a little half box at the top of every day um, and, you know, jot that down or plan it in advance, whichever one <clears throat> I'm in the mood for that week. I'm going to use this little cabin one. And I do like the patterned um, half boxes, although I'll, if it's a really busy... Um, pattern or a busy um, layout, if you will. That sticker is ever so slightly crooked. So one thing I will mention about Felicia stickers is they are removable. So I do like that because I tend to lay them down crooked or decide that it's in the wrong place and I would have put something else there. Um, all right, so I was saying that sometimes if it's a really like bright or bold um, <clears throat> kit, I might sometimes pull in some more 
solid-ish looking um, half boxes instead of using really busy ones. But this kit, I really just, I love, love this clip art. So I'm totally using it for my half boxes for my outfits. <clears throat> so I do track my outfits every day. So this is perfect. Um, so I like to have a lot of half boxes in my kits for that reason. It works well for me. All right, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I already know that I want to use this big, um, full, these two boxes right here um, for Saturday and Sunday just because I think it makes such a fun scene. I don't always use um, double boxes or scenes <clears throat> in my planner. I know I did this past week, and I am again this week, uh, but sometimes I need that space. However, today we're going to use it. All right, I love, I just love this cabin. And to me, it looks so like wintry, woodsy, you know, just the classic winter cabin in the woods. Ugh. Oh my gosh, y'all, just look at that. All right, and then we're going to toss a weekend banner over it. So let me find the weekend banners for the kit one of these off and oh my gosh you know I didn't even need that there maybe no I want it up here I want it up here but I don't want to cover up my Saturday and Sunday all right well maybe 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 y'all let's what do we think oh maybe we just put it at the top of the page Hmm. You know what? It, <clears throat> I'm going to just trim that off and see. There's several weekend banners in the kit, so if I don't like the way that this one looks, I can remove it. You know what? I'm absolutely, totally okay with that. It's at the top now, um, but I kind of like it. It's out of the way, and it's not taking up. Um, it's not covering up part of my scene, and I didn't want to move down any further because I didn't want to take up this space. I actually have a planner event on Saturday that I'm going to, um, so I didn't want to take up space there, and I'll probably want to add a photo. All right, so next up, <clears throat> I know I want this girl, this girl full box, um, so I tend to add my full boxes in next, and I'm actually going to put her over this section right here that says notes. She is beautiful. All right. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to line her up with this little dotted line on the Happy Planner, and it is trickier than you would think. There we go. Okay. Oh, nope. She's too tall. I'm gonna move her down a line. Oh, y'all. There we go. All right. Oh, I like her right there. So, there we go. We've got those right there. And now, I wanna see, you know what? I'm gonna add some um, glitter headers right here. I think I'm gonna use Maybe this gray. What do y'all think? Because I've already got like this dark burgundy color right here in this washi. So I don't want to use the red. And I feel like the brown. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. There we go. We're going to use like this gray silvery color. There we go. And this Glam Girl Happy Planner, I will share with y'all one little thing that I have found. Um, it is ruled, so each of the, it, it's not timed, but it is lined, and it has this little scallop edge. Um, and each one of these lines I have found is exactly the size of a header. So look at there. You can use um, glitter headers, or I can use glitter headers in this planner as like dividers if I want to divide up my day. Um, so, and they actually work 
perfectly in the lines. I did that this past week. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do right there. So let's put this one back over here. All right, there we go. Um, and let's see, let me refer back to my pre-planning and see some of the things that I have going on for this particular week. All right, so, all right, let's that open. All right, um, <clears throat> Mondays, I like to start with a coffee cup. Um, Michelle at XO Mama Plans kind of inspired that. So I'm looking on here to see, are there any coffee cups? And believe it or not, I don't see coffee. It might be here and it might just, there it is. There's one right there. If you talk long enough, you'll find it. So I'm going to add a coffee cup here. And I think I want, no, I don't know. I'm okay. Let's just put this right here. And I'm going to write Hello Monday just like Michelle does. And I think I'm going to use that gray silver glitter header right there to divide it up. All right. And then, all right, here we go. Yep, I like that. And then um, Monday is also trash day at our house. So let's mark that we need to get the trash out. Um, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to do another glitter header under that. And I may end up doing a row of them across. I'm going to use this red next because it's such a bold color. Um, and it kind of, having the red down here to me breaks it up from all that red up there. So I've got this stuff going on on Monday. Um <clears throat> I'm going to use, use a big bow on Monday. Yes. All right. Um, on Wednesdays, I always have a meeting at work. So I'm going to use this for our weekly meeting. Actually, I'm going to use it down there. Um, also, we have every week at our weekly meeting, we have um, someone responsible for bringing donuts. And it doesn't have to be donuts. It can be something else. It could be bagels or fruit. We have some folks that do Chick-fil-A. Um, and believe it or not, we actually have a schedule for that. And I am in charge of the schedule. I don't know how, I, well, I'll say I don't know how that happened. I know exactly how that happened. My boss told me I'd be in charge of the schedule the day that I started. So um, every week I keep up with whose turn it is to bring the donuts. So I'm going to put that there and I will find a donut sticker or something similar to put right there. I'll use some kind of something something. Oh come on lay down because I'm not using my finger over here. All right. There we go. And then there's a pin just to signify our weekly meeting. And then I'll use another one of these red. Here we go. <clears throat> I like this red on here. It has a little bit of the scallop peeking out underneath it, but I am totally okay with that. I think it's actually kind of cute. It adds a fun element. So I'm probably going to go ahead and add the red glitter header here. And then it's going to end up just being like a glitter divider all the way across the middle of the page. What do y'all think? There we go. All right. Right now, I don't have a whole lot going on on Tuesday that I know of. Um, we're having like a college game day. I think I'm going to take this up because we're having like a college game day kind of thing at work. Actually, maybe I will leave that right there. Um, and I'll add yes. All right, it's like a college game day activity. So we'll see. I think I can write it in that amount of space. What do we think? Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then I'll pull in a football right there. I know I have some Libby Littles football, and I think that will be fun because the national championship game is um, Monday. And this video, 
I might try to get this video up on Monday. If not, it'll go up on Tuesday. But the national championship game is there. So I need to mark that down here as well. We're going to mark it with one of these red boxes. So... All right, what do we think? Yep, this red box. Because in our house, we are pulling for the Georgia Bulldogs. We live in Georgia, so that is our home team. Um, and um, I think I want some washi. I, want, I think I want this bow washi. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I grew up as a Georgia Bulldog fan, and um, it's literally like 45 minutes to an hour from our house. Um, my daughter just so happens to go to the University of Kentucky, but we are pulling for the Bulldogs. My dad graduated from the University of Georgia, and um, <clears throat> I have several friends that went to Georgia. I grew up a Georgia fan. Um, so we are pulling for the Bulldogs tonight. So uh, we will mark this in our planner that that is the national championship game it's not often that um you know the team your hometown team the team you grew up watching that's right down the road gets to play in the national championship so that's really fun even though it's not necessarily our team because it's not the school that my daughter attends um but no matter no matter we will be cheering on the bulldogs um all right so i will mark that um and then on Tuesday, like I said, I don't right now I don't have a whole lot going on on Tuesday. It will get filled in as I go on Wednesday. Um, I do have um, to keep up with the donut schedule. We have our weekly meeting here. I don't have too much else going on on Wednesday. All right, so we'll just skip over to Thursday for now. So on Thursdays, I go to Weight Watchers at lunch. I am a Weight Watcher member and absolutely love it. I love the program. I love my friends at Weight Watchers. I love everything about it. So let me add that right there. I hear my dogs barking. I don't know what's going on out there. Oh, somebody did something, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's move this up a line. I think. There we go. Look at there. We'll just move this washi up right here. And Felicia does have a scale in her kit right there. So, ta-da! All right, and then we will put one of our red um, glitter headers um, across the middle. So, we'll just kind of carry that across like we did from the other page. And again, we'll do that on Friday. We'll go ahead and lay that one down since we're right here. All right, so there we go. Um, Friday is payday. Yay for me. All right, so let's, I'm going to do one of the little square boxes from the kit. Here we go. I'm going to do like this square box right here. Ah, there we go. It didn't want to come off at first. I'm going to do right here. Um with this payday flag and I'm gonna write my name in there because it's my payday all right and then um, I'll go ahead and put a glitter header down because um, every Friday I check grades I have um, two children in school my son is a senior in high school my daughter is actually a junior in college um, however every Friday I check grades for both kids um, for my son's grades, that's crooked, so we're going to pull it up. My son's grades, I can actually log on online um, and check them, um, but my daughter has to send me her grades. And every Friday, I send her a text that says it's Friday, send me your grades. Um, so since she's 20 years old, I can't log in and look at hers because the college considers her to be an adult which I know technically in the world she's an adult. Um, but in my house, if I'm helping pay your bills, you're not quite an adult yet until you're on your own. So um, my kids do, um, I do check their grades every Friday and I put a reminder to myself um, in my planner not to forget because I will totally forget if I don't remind myself. 
Also, our office is closing at 3 o'clock on Friday. Monday is a holiday for us. Um, it is Martin Luther King Day, and um, our office observes that, so we get that day off. So I am going to put a um, little box right here. Let's put that. Come on. You know what? We'll move it down one. I'm going to move it down one, and I'm going to put a tassel banner right there. All right, and then um, Saturday, like I said, I do have a planner event to go to. So let me, I'm going to mark that with one of these decorative half boxes. So we're actually almost done, believe it or not. I don't have a whole lot more to add. All right, so we'll put that right there. Um, and I definitely want to leave space on Saturday, um, probably for a photo of like my friends and I at the planner meetup um, right there. And then um, Saturday night in our house is always movie night. So I'm going to use this movie marquee in the kit and add that here on Saturday night. I don't know what we'll watch, but we will watch something because it's what we do. It's what we like to do. Okay, and then... Um, I don't have a whole lot else like plan plan for this week so I'm gonna add in a few um, like tassel banners and things that I like to have bear with me y'all I'm pulling them out of my box over here so I have this big box of goodies so I think that this um, these are Libby and Co tassel banners and I think that these um, from her winter palette will match quite well so I'm going to put one right here because we close at three o'clock and that is fun and then I'm going to put one right here for um, that national championship game and I'm actually going to add a glitter header over that just to kind of make it um, stand out and pop a little bit in my planner so I'm going to add the glitter banner the glitter header I'm sorry right here There we go, and then we will do the tassel banner um, over it. So, I like the way that looks. Let me grab a football. Uh, here we go. Here's a football. I'm put one right here for the actual game. Ah! Shoot, shoot. Okay, let me put one right here for the actual game itself. And then I'm going to put one up here because, like I said, we're going to uh, like do a game day kind of thing at work. It's like casual clothes and jeans and pull for your favorite team since our hometown team is in the game. Um, and then, um, so we have trash day, game day, we have a place for our planner meetup. I need a planner meetup sticker. All right, so let's just see. Um, I have my box off to the side over here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use from the kit. Um, from Felicia's kit. Silly, silly me. Oh, gosh, y'all. Stickers everywhere. I'm going to use this adorable bow clip. Like, look at that. It's like buffalo plaid bow clip. Totally going to use that right there for the planner meetup. It seems quite appropriate. Don't y'all agree? So we'll put that right there. Um, I don't have too much else going on this week. Like, it's not as busy as you would think. So I do a lot of planning as I go, and I will fill in um, a lot of this throughout the week. So let me just, I'll write a few of the things in now so that you can see. How I use it um, and this is the tool pen in 0.5 gel ink these are the office max office depot um, 
brand pins. Um, this was a limited edition that has rose gold hardware, but they do have these pins um, all of the time. So you can always find them. Um, they're just going to be like a traditional black. I almost forgot I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday. So, I don't think that there is a doctor's appointment on here, but I do have, here we go. I do have some stethoscopes and things in my um, stuff. Actually, I'm gonna use, let's see what we have in our Libby's Littles. So I do have a Libby Littles um, binder that has just tons and tons of her stickers in here. So I'm gonna see if I have one in a color um, that we like to match this kit. Since I'm using so many of her stickers this week, which I love, 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 love. Um, come on, I know I have stethoscopes in here. And I don't think, oh, there they are. Okay. So yeah, let's use um, one of these reds. It's a lighter red, but I'm okay with that. All right, so let's use this here on Thursday. And look at there, it will fit perfectly in that little spot. So awesome. I'm so glad that I remember that. It would be terrible for me to forget.
Okay, so that's all of really, like, those are the big plans that I have for this week. Like I said, I will fill this in with, you know, Happy Mail or Amazon orders and things like that as I move throughout the week. Um, I like to leave a ton of white space when I start my planning for the week so that I can fill things in as I go, as things change or things get updated. Um, I do tend to add them in. I have this adorable buffalo plaid um, washi from Target, and I just thought that I would add some of that in. Oh, come on. As a decorative element on some of the days that are a little bit um, blank right now. So I'm going to add some of this in just for fun right now. So there we go, and then I'll end up kind of working around it as we go. So there's a little bit, and then um, I think I'll just put another little block right here on Thursday since I know I've got that oncology appointment that will take up a chunk of um, Thursday afternoon. I'll have to leave my office early to get there, and then, of course, you know, things at the doctor's office never go on time, right? All right, so there we go. And like I said, I know Saturday night will be movie night. I just don't know what we will watch. Um, so that's where we are for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up so that it's not forever long. Let me um, pop these pages back into my planner so you can see what this layout looks like um, as of right now. Oh, I am going to put a little icon Um, there we go. There's a little clock for that early closing. There we go. We're going to pop that right there on Friday. So that seems appropriate. Let me um, grab my planner back, open her back up, and pop these pages back in. So there you go. So you can see what this looks like right now. There is the week um, as we are starting it. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as you can see, I have a ton, ton, ton of stickers left over. Um, I do usually um, use the same theme and often the same kit to plan in my micro. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. Um, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you can stay tuned for lots more fun content coming your way. Thanks, y'all. Bye.